open controls. FaceTime. Sorry about that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Screen Reader Basics 101 with VoiceOver for the iPad, Apple Watch, and iPhone. I grouped those together because they all work the same way. But for today, I'm going to be using my iPad. Now, if you're new to screen readers, why is Siri activating? That shouldn't be happening. <laughs> if you're new to screen readers, you might not know anything about voiceover. So that's what we're going to be exploring today. The first thing you need to know is voiceover is totally accessible. I love it and I use it every day. Now, to see what's on the screen, you flick left and right. So first I'm gonna flick right. Find my, one new item. Maps, Keynote, App Store. I am repeatedly Files. flicking right. Apple Store, and iTunes Store. You don't have to Contacts. touch, you can Settings, anywhere. Clock, 11 seven. measure. Movies and shows folder, voice memos. Doc, and messages, to Safari, mail, one unread email. Pages. Double tap to open. Actions available. Whoa, you're going too ahead, voiceover. <laughs> so, um, you can flick anywhere on the screen and it will go to the next item. It doesn't matter where you touch. Now, to go back, you flick left. Mail. One unread email. Safari. Messages. Two voice memos. Movies and shows. Measure. Now, movies and shows. Let's say you want to open something, like the Movies and Shows folder. You can double tap anywhere on the screen to activate the last item you heard. So Opening Movies. I have done that now. To stop voiceover from reading, touch with two fingers on the screen anywhere. So that is how you navigate. But you can do advanced things with voiceover as well. And I'll show you that here. Let's first talk about the rotor. Place two fingers on the screen and move them counterclockwise or clockwise to navigate through the options. Language, sounds, volume, words, characters, vertical headings, containers, language, language. Like that. Now, you can also choose the voice and language. I have things set up here. And to access items on the rotor, you swipe up or down with one finger anywhere on the screen. And that will toggle through the option that you've used on the rotor. Like here, we're at language, so. English, US. That's the default voice. South African English. We have that. Irish English. We have that. English UK. English UK, that's a little fast. English Australia. English Australia. English US. And English default. US. English. U English. It's volume. Okay, um. You can program other languages like Greek and Spanish, but, um, I can show that in an advanced video. Now, let's talk about advanced, more advanced features. So let's open an app. TV, Disney Plus, Netflix, YouTube, One Prime Video, Voice Dream Reader. For this sake, we're Double gonna tap open to open Voice Dream Reader because I don't think I'll get really any copyright strikes. <laughs> so to open an app, you double tap anywhere on the screen. And these are all the books we have here. And you can flick left and right on the screen. Filter. All items. But edit button. Search. Search field. So let's say I want to Double search. tap to edit. I can double tap to edit. Search field. Now I can. Voice dream reader. Ooh. Double tap to open. These are getting a Apps with voice dream. Closing movies and shows yeah. folder. Voice. The can't search right. field so is editing. Search. search. Character mode. It's Insertion really point at start. There's two ways to search. One way is to drag E R T Y U I O 
P. Delete. Search. Dimmed. Delete. P. P. Action. Quick start. Y. T. And Tango. You would let go and actions available. Input that letter. But I have it set up for something different. So I'm going to input T. T. Now flick left and right on your keyboard. Y U I O P delete A S D F G H. And when you get to the letter you want, in my case H, double tap H anywhere on the keyboard. G F D S A delete P O I U Y T R E E F G H K L. Search. And I can search, search for the the ghost at Don's house, and the babysitters club number eight, the babysitters club number seven, the babysitters club number six. And yeah, all those show up. Big fan of those. To go home, it's the same. You feel on your device for the button that takes you home. And you Movies and shows folder. It. Now, in, today I'm going to teach you one last gesture. But um, this only works on iPhone and iPad. This does not work on Apple Watch. So... Oh yeah, the rotor doesn't work on Apple Watch either, but other than that, it's the exact same. Now, you want to take three fingers and triple tap, like thunk, thunk, thunk. So triple tap with three fingers. Screen curtain on. And that turns on.